Good afternoon, everyone. As you can see, today I'm going to present a TED Talk about ice skating. So let's get started. I first started ice skating when I was seven years old, when I moved near City Plaza. I've ice skated for five years now, and I decided to do this TED Talk on ice skating because I really love this sport very much. In early times, ice skating was invented to only be played in, um, to ice skate in winter, so it is a very limited sport. But after a few centuries, people invented ice skating rinks, which will not be affected by weather, so people can ice skate all year round. Obviously, ice skating can only be done on ice. As Hong Kong's weather is not enough to frozen ice, uh, frozen lakes or frozen ponds, people have invented ice skating rinks and four main ice skating rinks of Hong Kong are City Plaza Ice Palace, Festival Walk Ice Skating Rink, Sky Rink and Mega Ice. These four main ice skating rinks of Hong Kong allows us to ice skate. So this picture with this picture is when I ice skated in Festival Walk and this is when I was in Sea Plaza. Apart from being an extremely and amazingly beautiful sport, ice skating is really dangerous in the inside. So when you ice skate, there are a lot of tips that you have to remember so that you will not hurt yourself or others. First, you must remember that you have a pair of knives under your feet. When you ice skate, it is common to fall. But when you fall, there are things you, you need to remember. Do not spread your fingers, because when other people skate around you, they may cut your fingers. Also, you can wear black gloves so that your fingers will be easily seen on ice because of the colors. Ice skating. When you ice skate, everyone has a pair of knives under their feet, which which allows you to skate on ice. It is known that metal can melt ice in a really quick speed, which plastic f makes it extremely slippery and is very dangerous if you forget to take off those plastic covers of your shoes before you walk into the skating rink. The reason why we can float so swiftly across the ice is of the PTPT -PT curve of the ice water boundary when the skater puts his or her weight on the ice. Ice melts really quickly and provides a thin film of liquid, which we skate on. It is, it is possible to skate on a planet made of lakes of frozen dioxide because this gas has the PTPT -PT curve. After passing the liquid, a sharp line is formed on the ice. It is very useful to track spins and jumps. How amazing! Ice skating is different from ice hockey and, and skiing. The design of ice skating shoes have a really sharp end in the front, which allows us to stop suddenly, spin or jump or do other technical movements, while hockey shoes doesn't have the pointy ends. What hockey skater need is speed when they need to hit the hockey. So the sharp ends are gone to make the skater skate faster so that they can, they can hit other skaters and also to score with the ball. However, it makes ice hockey also f extremely dangerous as you cannot stop immediately as you want to because you don't have those sharp ends. Ice skaters control the direction with their toes, while roller skaters control with their whole feet and skiers make use of their heels. Maybe this is why I cannot ski or hockey skate. After today's TED Talk about ice skating, I hope you all learned a lot about ice skating and can start enjoying ice skating from another angle. This is the end of our presentation. Thank you.